Hey there, I'm Danny Truster from Truster Taylor in Rochester, Minnesota. This is Taylor Yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a hook and eye to the top of a garment. This is typically seen at the top of a zipper, which helps bring it together a little bit and takes the tension off the zipper itself. A hook and eye is added to the top of a zipper on a number of garments, including the waistband on a pair of pants, a skirt, or the top of the zipper of this bridesmaid's dress. Um, it really helps the zipper to stay up and it reduces the tension that's put on the zipper, which over time can get damaged and fail. So to prolong the longevity of your garment, it's recommended that you add a hook and eye to the top of the zipper. To do this, we'll want some thread that will match our garment, a needle, and the hook and eye that we think will best look on there. There are a number of hook and eyes that you can get based on the size and color that you'd like. Typically size one and two are the ones you're gonna use on most garments, two is bigger than one. You can get ones that are sized for fur. Um, they're a little bit bigger so you can find it within the fur. Ones that are for wedding dresses. Um, you can get decorative ones that have thread wrapped around them so if you want it to be visible, it's kind of a little bit of a design detail. But for our purposes, we're gonna use a silver one that'll be the one that'll blend in the most. So you'll wanna cut about two feet of thread and we'll double that up on our needle. And we'll tie the ends together. And then snip that about an eighth of an inch away from the knot. And we're gonna be sewing this on the inside of the garment. We wanna place the hook and eye at the very top of the zipper if there's room to put it above the zipper, such as there is on this garment, that will work best because you can bring the fabric together a little bit closer that way. Um, you wanna place the hook or the eye, either one, whichever you start with, just inside the edge of the fabric. That's going to allow the fabric to press together once you hook them together and then the hook and eye will not be visible. So depending on which hand you wanna use, you have to hold it with one hand and then sew with the other. Insert the needle into the fabric and I like to sort of loop the thread on itself so that it doesn't pull through when we pull it tight. And then insert it into the eye. And you basically kind of whip stitch around there by inserting the needle into the fabric each time and then through the eye. And you kind of want to check your placement as you go so that you don't get it too off center or too far inside or outside. And then just keep stitching. Pulling your threads tight. And once you have that, you know, a good six, eight times through one side, then you can push it through the fabric and angle towards the other eye and out that one. And again, we'll do the same. We will whip stitch through that. And once we've gone enough times through there, one last thing we want to do is secure the very end because right now this kind of pulls away. We want to make sure that stays flush. So we'll insert our needle into the fabric and sort of exit close to where the end of the hook is and then you'll wrap it around the hook and then insert into the fabric. And again, wrap it around the hook and insert into the fabric. And we'll do that one more time so that it's nice and sturdy. And then to secure the end of the thread, we'll insert that underneath the hook and exit doesn't matter really where, we just wanna secure it from where we last were. And then snip it so you have about three inches of thread so that you're able to tie it with your hands. And use a couple overhand knots. And then snip that off. So there we have the one side. And if you're not exactly sure where you need to go, you can kind of zip that and press it together and it'll show you where you need to put the hook. 
So right now our zipper is kind of open like that and when we're done it'll lay a little bit more like that. So it'll bring it together a little bit more and lay a little nicer. To sew the eye on, again, we will start with inserting our needle into the fabric and hooking that knotted end to secure that. And again, we'll place our eye with the big loop facing in so that that's the side that catches with the hook. And we want to kind of place it in the same spot as the other side and in from the edge of the fabric and then holding with one hand go in the small eye and out and we'll kind of wrap around a few times to secure that and once you have that sewn enough times you can angle over to the other eye and go through there a few times And just like we did on the hook side where we secured that end of that hook, we're going to do the same thing on the eye where we're going to wrap around either side of that larger eye to keep it flat against the fabric because right now it's kind of loose and comes away. So we'll go through the fabric and angle towards the side of the large eye. And we'll wrap around a few times. to secure that. And once you do it two or three times, we will go underneath to the other side. And once we've secured both sides, insert the needle underneath. And it doesn't really matter where you exit, but I usually do it where the small eyes are. And then we'll snip that off about three inches again so you have enough room to tie that. A couple overhand knots. And now that we've got that secured, we'll kind of test that out. Right now, if we zip the zipper all the way up, see how it kind of pulls away from it itself. we hook that, it brings them right next to one another and it lays a lot nicer. This is a handy fix if you have a slider where the locking mechanism is broken, so when you pull on it, the zipper slides down. Securing a hook and eye at the top will reduce the tension on the zipper and will keep it up and prevent you from maybe having to replace that whole zipper. It's also a good option if you have a garment that's just a little bit too big. Putting a hook and eye at the top and bringing that together, um, it makes about a half inch smaller. Um, so if you have something that's just a little on the big side, it can make it fit you so where it's a little bit more comfortable. So it's a nice little trick, um, not only to secure and protect the zipper, but to resize a garment just a little bit if you need to. For more information and courses, including downloadable PDFs, visit our website at tailoryourself.com. And always remember, measure twice, cut once. Thanks for watching.